Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Snyder's Bluff, located in Warren County, Mississippi, on April 29th to the May 1st. 1863. General Grant had began a series of attacks to divert Confederate forces from his main thrust. For this attack, he asked U.S. General William Tecumseh Sherman, yes, that Sherman who will be involved much more in these series as we go, and ordered him with his combined force of Army and Navy assets to attack Drumgold and Snyder's Bluff. The purpose was to prevent the Confederates from reinforcing Grand Gulf. Sherman, who was already engaged in leading a different project, assigned U.S. General Francis Blair to use his division to secure the bluff. On April 29th, a Union gunboat flotilla led by U.S. Navy Lieutenant Commander K. Randolph Brees, consisting of eight gunboats and ten transports, steamed up and into Chickasaw Bayou. Union General Blair watched over their approach as the flotilla moved up to Drumgold's Bluffs and began an artillery duel with the Confederate batteries on top. By 9 a.m., General Blair had ordered his troops to disembark and march along Blake's Levee towards the bluff. They did this while the gunboats engaged with the Confederate artillery. Unfortunately, the Union troops received heavy artillery fire and unfortunately had to retreat back to the ships. The next morning, the infantry once again disembarked from the transports and found they still could not reach the bluffs due to the swampy terrain and once again the terrible artillery shelling. After a second full day of being unable to reach the Confederate artillery, they returned once again back to their ships as night fell. Before they could try again a third time, General Sherman ordered General Blair to return to Milliken's Bend where he would be given additional orders. This resulted in the Union retreating off the field, unable to take Drumgold's or Snyder's bluff. It is unknown what the casualties were for either side. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.